So today we're going to be looking at non-exact first order differential equations uh, as opposed to exact first order differential equations. Okay, so this is the question in hand we have to solve. Um, and what I would be doing if I was uh, looking at this in an exam, first of all, is it separable? No. Is there an easy substitution? No. Can we put it in the form uh, dy dx add uh, f of x y equals g of x uh, no we can't although i will come back to that later because there is an overlap between these two um, so the next thing we would do is look to see if it was exact and the way we do that we've already done this in previous videos uh, is that we would have a look here uh, assuming we have a function here psi of x y equals c uh, then the total differential is d uh, psi dx dx uh, add d psi dy dy and that gives us this equation here and we've already done this in previous videos this is just a very brief uh, summary uh, whereby this is m and this is n and we had this test that if it's an exact equation m the different differential of m with respect to y uh, equals the differential of n with respect to x or dm dy equals dm dx then it's exact what happens if uh, the partial differential with respect to y is not equal to the partial differential of n with respect to x. What happens then? Well, all is not lost because what we have is we have two further options here. So if my does not equal nx, then we can check, is this thing here a function of x only? And if it is, then we can use this as an integrating factor and the astute may notice that the integrating factor here is very similar to the integrating factors that we've already been dealing with on uh, um, on videos on this first order differential equation uh, and alternatively if this is a function of y alone then this is the integrating factor so all isn't lost and these are called non-exact uh, first order differential equations so let's do the one in hand uh, which I've repeated here. So basically it was um, solve uh, dy dx equals minus x squared y over x cubed add y and we have an initial condition of y0 equals 1. So obviously the first thing we need to do uh, is we need to put it into the correct form um, and the correct form is x squared y dx add. All I'm doing is I'm um, cross multiplying uh, this thing here to get it into the right form where this will be m and this will be n and now what we want to do is we want to look at my or dm dy well my or dm dy is x squared and now we want to look at nx or dn dx the partial derivative of n with respect to x uh, and that is equal to 3x squared so they're not quite the same so it's not an exact uh, differential equation but they're nearly the same so let's have a look at my minus nx um, which will be uh, uh, will be minus 2x squared and if we divide that by m or n where we know that m is x squared y and we know that n is x cubed add y well it's no good dividing it by n because that's not going to help much but if we divided it by minus m x squared y, the x squared would cancel out, which would leave us with 2 over y. And that is a function of y alone. And if we go back up here, if it is a function of y alone, my minus nx over minus m, we use this integrating factor here. Okay, so we can use the integrating factor there. So the integrating factor that we're going to use is e to the integral to the power of the integral 2 over y dy and we've seen this a lot uh, in in previous videos in actual fact we did a video on the 10 most scary integrating factors and this one isn't particularly scary so but i'll go through it slowly that's e to the uh, 2 integral 1 over y dy which equals e to the 2 log y which equals e to the log of y squared which equals um, y squared um, for reasons that we have discussed um, previously so what we have to do is we have to multiply both sides of everything by y squared and that is this equation here so let's multiply both sides by y squared that gives us x squared y cubed dx add x cubed y squared add y cubed dy equals zero 
and we now have a new M and a new N. And let's see now if it's exact. So MY now will be equal to 3x squared y squared. And NX now uh, here will be equal to uh, 3x squared y squared. Hey, voila, they are the same. So now it is exact. So now what we can do is we can integrate both M and N. Um, and so we can just uh, integrate M dx equals, uh, well, m is that, so integrating, uh, sorry, m is that, so integrating that with respect to x gives us x cubed over 3 y cubed. And again, if this doesn't mean anything, we've done this in previous videos, so I'm, I'm not going to um, uh, go on about it. Have a look at the uh, description to this video for, for links for those previous videos. That's the integral of m. The integral of n dy is... Uh, x cubed y cubed over 3, and note that is the same, add y to the 4 over 4, add h of x, and merging these two results gives us our psi of xy equals x cubed y cubed over 3, add y to the 4 over 4, uh, add uh, well, that's it, actually, isn't it? So, um, and basically, we know that that equals a constant. So we can have here 4x cubed y cubed add 3y to the 4 equals a constant, multiplying everything by uh, 12. And um, our initial condition was that um, y of... What was the initial condition? My apologies. Y of 0 is 1. Okay, so the initial condition is that y of 0 equals 1. So an x equals 0, y equals 1. So therefore, c equals 3. So the answer to our um, differential equation is 4x cubed y cubed add 3y to the 4 equals 3. That is the implicit solution to the equation. Okay, now, uh, in the previous videos, we've had a check uh, by differentiating this and seeing if we get back where we started. So uh, for those so interested, let's do that. Uh, and all we're going to do is just uh, do this by the, uh, the product rules. So we're differentiating both sides with respect to x. That gives us... Uh, oops, my apologies. What's happened there? Differentiating both sides with respect to x. That gives us 12x squared y cubed. Add 4x cubed times 3y squared dy dx. Do an implicit differentiation. Add 12y dy dx. Uh, 12y cubed, sorry, dy dx equals 0. Uh, and then just um, adding all the, the uh, that's 12x squared y cubed, add dy dx 12x cubed y squared, add 12y cubed equals 0, i.e. x squared y add x cubed add y dy dx equals 0, that's just dividing by 12y squared, uh, or uh, in the form that it was, dy dx equals minus x squared y over x cubed add y, which is the question uh, that we were asked. So by doing the uh, implicit differentiation, we have proved that this answer here is indeed uh, the solution to that differential equation. Okay, well, I hope you found this useful. If you did, um, please uh, like it by um, pressing the little thumbs up button and subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel.